All right, we're working on a schoolie today at Schoolie UP. Gonna be installing, uh, looks like four 320 watt Renogy panels. They look pretty nice. Uh, we're working with the customer to get them up there. And uh, but we were looking over the system first and we noticed something. And so let's, uh, let's talk about that. Uh, overall, it uh, looks like four Battleborn batteries. Those look like they're hooked up good. No problems there. But uh, we took a quick look at, I uh, noticed this right away. We've got uh, a cable that is getting awfully hot. And you can tell something happened there. So uh, we're definitely going to want to take a look at that. So the first thing we're going to do is hook up to the Servo GX hook up their display to it and we're gonna knock the charging amps down on this just so they can keep charging their batteries and then we can deal with that after we uh, get the solar panels sorted up and we might have a couple other things to program and hook up and all that and we'll get them squared away and on their way. So uh, anyway, quick update on this. We knocked the charging amps down on the Multi Plus. What we did was we went into settings and I enabled DVCC and then uh, enabled limit charge current and knocked that down to 40 amps. And that's how you limit the charge, the battery charging current, not the AC incoming charge current, because we can't really knock that down any much more than it already was. But that lets us at least uh, keep charging the batteries, but at a much more safer rate until we can address the wiring issues there. But it's still a little bit early in the day, so we're gonna hit the solar. And then we'll come back to this. All right, we got two panels on here. We got some help uh, putting them on there. We got the uh, wires run through here. This is a nice uh, open air shower they got going on. And running those through here. And the port over there going into their uh, garage area on the schoolie. So we ended up putting the brackets on the ends to account for the curvature in the roof. You can see it's just... We just got enough room. We would not have been able to make it work. We tried making it work the long way. It wasn't gonna work with the Z brackets. If you wanna do that, you really gotta do a roof rack with Unistrut or something, which may end up happening. We're trying to leave room up there for uh, a roof deck eventually. But uh, as always, everything's a work in progress and you just gotta uh, roll with what you got. So we're gonna keep working on this and then we're gonna finally take care of the wiring down there. Oh, and don't you worry. There's Coco. She's helping out. Right, big girl? And, uh, oh, here's all the schoolies that are here, too. We're at Schoolie UP. All right, here we are getting the last one screwed down. Oh, maybe. We're hitting the frame rail. Hope we do. All right, we're gonna come back to that one later. <laughs> no, it'll get done. All right, so here we are. I think I'm gonna climb down here in a minute and uh, then we're gonna get down to the fun stuff down below. All right, so I got some things uh, connected up here in the garage. We got a uh, breaker on here now, which is better than the just the disconnect that was there before. Um, customer's gonna tidy up these all, all these wires. Don't need to pay me to do that. We have no problem just helping people out with what they need help with. Um, so those are there. They got the two uh, DC smart chargers. And one of the things that's important with those is you have to uh, actually activate them via the charging from the alternator. And then you gotta take them out of uh, power supply mode into charge mode. So we're gonna do that as well. And then uh, the last thing we're gonna take care of, of course, is here's a little better look at what happened here. And uh, I think, yeah, actually, I'm gonna recommend we probably replace that entire thing. That fuse, something, fuses can get hot uh, without failing. So I think we're actually put a little dielectric grease on that this time around as well. And I'll redo this crimp uh, as, as far as exactly what failed. I think it might've actually been the fuse uh, it's a 400 amp fuse, which is the right uh, fusing for this, but and nothing actually feels loose. I'm 
I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than something didn't go to plan. So we got that uh, terminal block pulled out and not quite sure what happened here. And there's actually molten metal there. And the fuse never blew. So we're actually replacing it with a, uh, I don't have any more a &L fuses, which is probably what we should use, but we're trying to make the situation better with what we have. So I've got the uh, 400 amp mega fuse and a fuse holder, and we're gonna fully load test it just to make sure that's gonna work out all right. I know there's maximum discharge current ratings and maybe that's not the best one, but again, we're trying to make the best, trying to make a bad situation better. And this is very bad. So one of the things we're also gonna do is we're gonna sand out, sand the connection. I'm gonna put a little terminal grease on it as well. So here's the post-mortem on the fuse holder in fuse. The, when I pulled it off, turns out the washers were installed in between the bus bar and the fuse. And I think that contributed to building heat in here. Generally, you always want the fuse in direct contact with the bus bar material or the lug. And we have, and we have tested this arrangement here to 140, 150 amps, and it is not even getting warm really to the touch. So I think that's what was going on here. So just be careful. You always want your washers on top and keep those connections clean. So that'll about wrap up uh, this project. Uh, what do you call your bus? Do you have a name? I don't have a name. It's Seeking Shenanigans is the uh, call sign. Seeking Shenanigans now has a working solar system. We've tested the uh, all the, the alternator charging. That works. We've got a working mini split. Solar's working. Everything's safe. I'd say uh, job well done today. Appreciate so the, much. I appreciate the opportunity. And if you or anybody else you know needs help with solar, you can find us at sodasolar.com or at School of UP for a couple days. But this video probably won't get out until after that.